Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking 2023 home decor and design trends. And before we get started, I just like to remind you all that these are just trends. By no means am I saying if you don't have these things in your space that it's dated or out of style. This video is more of a way to stay current with the ever changing design world and more so for just inspiration. And speaking of inspiration, I love to use Instagram photos for you all for examples, just so that way, if you see a designer that you like, you can easily go to their page, see more of their work and hopefully get further inspired. So should be a really fun video and without further ado let's get into it okay so our first trend is going to be bolder color choices i think the last couple of years neutral spaces really dominated but that left a lot of people hungry for color and just a punch of vibrancy so we're seeing lots of designers add color in places like cabinetry painting the whole room a color or big accent furniture i think that because neutral spaces were so popular designers really wanted to break that mold and do something different so here and there we started incorporating these accent walls and then it kind of morphed into just a lot more vibrancy all around. So if you're like me and you gravitate towards neutral spaces but you still wanna incorporate some pops of color, there are so many fun, easy, and inexpensive ways to do this. You could simply just hang some colorful towels in a place like a mud room or a bathroom. You could throw a bunch of colorful florals in a vase and use that as a statement in somewhere like a bathroom or a kitchen island or a coffee table, whether they be real or faux, a little punch of color through florals is just such a fun and classic way to incorporate that little pop of vibrancy to a space. You could add a colorful rug to an entryway or maybe somewhere like a living room if you were feeling a little bit more bold. You could also just go to the craft store, buy a large canvas, and kind of create your own fun, colorful, abstract art piece to make a statement in a space. So if you're undergoing a renovation this year, this could be a fun time to add some colorful tile or cabinetry. But if you're just kind of keeping things simple this year, but you still want to participate in this colorful trend, there are so many ways to easily implement this into your space on a budget. All right, so our next trend is going to be smaller scale artwork pieces. And in the past, we saw a lot of designers and home bloggers use very large statement art that fills up a wall. And that's obviously a very classic look. It's not going anywhere. But what we are seeing is a lot of designers and bloggers kind of substituting those larger pieces for something of a smaller scale. Also in place of larger artwork, we're seeing more gallery walls, which is kind of fun because it's a way to just create that homey, collected, and gathered feel, which is becoming very popular. We're also seeing a ton of small artwork pieces being layered into kitchen decor. And I really like this because it helps to break up those harsh, cold materials that are often synonymous with kitchens and helps it to feel a little bit more styled and homey, especially when we use things like still lifes and oil paintings. It just really has that cozy collected and vintage feel to it. I am so here for this trend because it's one of those that's super easy to implement and is also very affordable. You know, with large statement art, a lot of times you have to get that custom made or larger scale pieces can be very expensive at the store. But with smaller pieces, they're very easy to create at home. You can either, you know, DIY something or you can find a digital download for super cheap on Etsy. This is something that I do a lot in my home and you can just print it out at home on your printer because it is a smaller scale. So you can use a frame that you already own or you can just pop into the thrift store to find a really affordable one because those vintage frames are very big right now as well and that actually brings me to our next trend which is vintage designers have been incorporating vintage pieces into their spaces for as long as I've personally been paying attention to design so this is nothing new but what is new is the amount of vintage and the style of vintage that's being added to spaces before it was a little bit more of an accent piece here and there vintage was kind of just used in the background a little bit more subtle to kind of add that character and warmth to a space. But now we're seeing a lot of spaces where majority of the space looks to be vintage. Designers are incorporating a lot more pieces with character and that unique vintage look to them that you just can't buy new. I really like this trend because obviously it's super affordable and it's so easy. Anyone can just go to their local thrift store and kind of pick out pieces that speak to them and help make their space feel a little bit more special and gathered. And I talk about this all the time on my channel, but something that takes my spaces to the next level truly is adding vintage or antique items. And you wouldn't think by plopping a chippy old worn piece into your decor that it would help it to seem elevated and more expensive, but it totally does. It helps to give your space character and that worn lived in casual feel, which I really go for in my spaces. I also have a bunch of videos on antiquing and thrifting and some of the things I look for when I personally go out shopping. So I will link those below if you are interested in that as well. 
Okay, so this next trend is probably one of the most popular that I'm seeing right now, and it is floral prints. I'm seeing this one used by many designers in so many different ways. One of the main ways I am seeing it is in wallpaper, especially in a bathroom or a powder room. So many designers are using this floral pattern on walls to create some visual interest in a smaller space or maybe somewhere like a kid's room. Another place I'm seeing a lot of this is in upholstery. So, you know, benches or accent chairs, things like that, sofas. And again, this is something that you can easily find at a thrift store. And this floral pattern I think is an extension of that grandma chic trend that we saw arrive on the scene last year. And it is definitely not going anywhere in 2023. If anything, it's only gaining popularity. And I think in the past designers had this very sleek, almost modern farmhouse kind of clean, fresh look. And now we're adding a lot more busyness and floral patterns is one of the main ways I'm seeing them do this. So if you really do like your space to be pretty clean, but you still kind of like the floral trend, but you're not ready to commit all the way to something like wallpaper. So many retailers are releasing floral print decor pieces into their new spring lines. So you could do something like a little accent pillow or maybe a hand towel or maybe a small ottoman something like that to kind of get that trendy floral pattern look to your space without totally committing also floral artwork is very big right now as well floral still lifes and floral patterned pieces i'm seeing them all over the place so that is another way that you could incorporate this trend very subtly as well all right so our next trend is going to be darker woods and this is really changing the tone of things Sorry, I had to. But I think the last couple of years, designers have been using lighter natural wood tones, maybe some oaky gray tones in their spaces, and that's been really popular. And naturally, when designers do things for so long, it tends to become overdone after time and they want to change course. So that is where we are now seeing the introduction of darker woods into spaces. I am seeing lots of designers mix dark and light. So maybe, you know, you have light wood floors, but you add darker accent furniture and darker beams things like that. And when picking out wood tones for your space, I think it is important to think of the overall feel that you want your space to have because lighter wood tones typically translate to a little bit more casual and lighter feel where darker tones are a little bit more rich and sophisticated. So I get this question all the time if you can mix wood tones and you totally can. You do just kind of want to have a primary wood tone and then an accent wood tone. So whether that be the light one is your primary and then you accent it with darker woods or vice versa, you can totally do that. And I understand darker woods aren't for everyone. Some people really love that rich look and then some people, you know, kind of like that lighter casual airy vibe. But if you tend to gravitate towards lighter wood tones like I do, it can be fun to mix in some darker accent pieces. Like for example, we have a darker wood dough bowl over our mantle and that just kind of creates a fun pop of contrast and a little bit of visual interest. So there's lots of ways to incorporate dark wood tones into your spaces. If if you don't want to commit to total dark cabinetry in a kitchen or a bathroom or floors or beams, you can just use it in your accent pieces and maybe kind of start there and see how you like it. And from there, if it's something that you want to maybe make more permanent and more of a statement, you can stretch that into your bigger accent furniture, like coffee table, dining table, chairs, things like that. So darker woods are probably going to be very popular for the next several years. So definitely a fun thing to kind of think about if you are buying new furniture. All right, so I would say this next trend is probably going to be one of the most popular patterns for 2023, in addition to the floral prints and it is checkered patterns. We kind of saw this arrive on the scene last year with the popularity of that checkered flooring and it's just kind of spread and transitioned into other areas, into the fabrics, things like blankets, dish towels, utensil crocs, rugs. It is going to be a very prominent pattern in 2023. Again, this is a trend that you can totally tweak to your own personal preference. You know, you can go all out with this one and maybe add a tile backsplash that's checkered, or you could keep it simple and just do a little hand towel, maybe incorporate a checkered pillow here and there. You can maybe go a little bit more bold with a rug, but something that, you know, you don't have to commit to like tile. You could also paint a checkered accent wall in a space. There's lots of ways to kind of incorporate this one. And we're seeing lots of designer retailers like Urban Outfitters kind of incorporate these checkered pieces into their collections. And a lot of times they're neutral, so they're not too loud or over the top, but just a fun way to break up a space with pattern. All right, so our next trend is going to be curves and arches. With this trend, obviously curves and arches are classic, 
but right now we're seeing them in places where we used to previously see a lot of 90 degree angles. So things like vanities, backsplash edges, doorways and casings and openings. That sleek modern farmhouse look was super prevalent the last couple of years. So there were lots of 90 degree angles and things like sofa arms and coffee tables. And now we're seeing designers gravitate more towards things that are a little bit softer and that have that curved edge to them. So I personally think in a space you do need to have a balance of curves and 90 degree angles just to have that visual interest and balance and just because curves are very trendy this doesn't mean you want to go and make your whole room curved and round and soft you want to have that juxtaposition of those straight 90 degree angles as well so for example in our living room we have a very modern sleek 90 degree angle coffee table and to juxtapose that i wanted to choose something that was a little bit more traditional so we went with a roll arm sofa. So the softer edges of the sofa arms kind of contrasted against the coffee table and created some visual interest. Same thing with our console table, which is composed of 90 degree angles. To juxtapose that, I added in some rounded baskets underneath and I also popped an arch mirror on top to kind of soften those harsh lines and just create some balance and visual interest. So when picking pieces for your space, you want to think about balance and while arches and curves are very popular and we're seeing them in places Places that we weren't in the past, you do want to balance them out with 90 degree angles. And obviously 90 degree angles aren't going out or dated or anything. We're just seeing a lot more curves than we have in the past. All right. So this next trend, I'm not going to lie, kind of took me by surprise, but it is sink skirts and cafe curtains. Clean, pristine, modern kitchens and bathrooms were and still are very popular, but I think that there was this push to make things a little bit more homey and soft, especially when it comes to kitchens and bathrooms. So sink skirts were originally used as an aesthetic way to kind of hide unsightly plumbing and add some extra storage to things like pedestal sinks. And now we're using them for an aesthetic purpose, but not really so much for hiding unsightly plumbing or like that practical way that they used to do back in the day. Now designers are using these as a way to add texture and pattern to a kitchen that would otherwise have just been filled with cabinetry. So it's kind of like the open shelving trend where it's just a way to add some visual interest and some softness. And like I state all the time on my channel, kitchens tend to be very cold with the materials that make them up. So things like stainless steel and marble and tile, those all give off a very cold feel. And there's a very minimal opportunity to use fabrics in a kitchen. So you really just have things like a hand towel or a rug, but I think that designers are really trying to incorporate that softness and that eclectic feel. And it is also a way to kind of incorporate that grandma chic trend. So I will be very curious to see if this one catches on because it is in its beginning phases, but something that I will say I think is going to catch on are cafe curtains. It's just a fun cutesy way to maybe dress up a breakfast nook, or a lot of us have windows in our kitchen that are otherwise kind of bare. So it could be a fun way to add some warmth and texture and pattern to a kitchen. I'm seeing lots of retailers starting to sell cafe curtains, whereas before they were kind of a harder thing to find. So leave me a comment below. What do you guys think about the sink skirts and cafe curtains trend? If you had to pick one, which one would you implement? And are you here for both of them? Or do you think that they're both a little bit too grandma chic? Are you still kind of into the modern sleek look? I'd love to know because this one definitely took me by surprise. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my little interpretation and breakdown of the 2023 design trends definitely let me know what you think in the comments below which ones are you here for and which ones are you maybe going to avoid I love hearing from you all especially with videos like this so definitely leave me a comment down below make sure you're subscribed because I post new content every single week so make sure you don't miss that I'm also very active in my community page and I post things like new arrivals restocked items and sales over there so that's another benefit of being subscribed and I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. You all are fabulous and I hope you have a great week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.